so I have our little crossbeak chicken, scissor beak chicken here, cookie. I'm going to be trimming the bottom a little bit where it collects all the mud, and we're gonna see if that makes it look a little <laughs> bit more normal, and maybe she'll be able to eat a little bit more like a normal <laughs> chicken. helping you scratch at all. Well, it's a little bit better, I think. I think she looks any better at all? I don't know. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I do feel food in my top. A little bit sort of thinner than the other. She's got a nice weight. Oh. So she is able to eat. Show everybody. Well, I mean, it's hard to see, but it is going down. She uses her big, like, chopsticks. I'm surprised. I thought we were going to have to give her crumble forever, but she's also able to eat the pellets. So that's cool. Good for you. I thought I was going to be giving her just this. Hey, I think I might have actually helped her. That's good. We combine these two cages so she's got double the room when she stays. But look at him. She's on her nest. And that's her baby. Like, are you going to help raise them? I wonder if he will. Be like a really good older brother. That's cute, isn't it? Popple's helping mommy. Are you helping your mom? At this rate, Popple, you're gonna be the one raising these guys. <laughs> so it looks like Dad's got some zucchini. That's so big. What the heck? Okay. Um, I don't have any to get these right now. Um, I don't have any way to carry them. They're heavy. Okay, a lot. Of zucchini. A lot of zucchini. Gigantic zucchini. What do you do with zucchini? That's a nice long one right there. Oh, there's another zucchini. And another zucchini. What are you and what do you got for me? Oh, Vernet squash. Vernet squash. Nice. I don't know what this is. Pumpkin? Pumpkins. Yes. Pumpkin. Three. Six. This is fun. Seven. So I see eight watermelon right now. That are noticeable in the grass. <laughs> Now there is a pond. 
she's like, how do I get uh, there? Uh, oh, yes, we have one uh, and he's full. Perfect. Uh, 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 whoop, whoop, they're cute. Uh, 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 uh. You put up a no diving sign? I was like, all right, that's a no. Can I get in? <laughs> You're goofy. <goobie. laughs> it's a bananas. What the heck? Okay. <laughs> so I've got the sprinklers on the lawn. I guess when they empty this, I'll move it to make sure the whole yard gets sprinkled. They're doing a good job. It's a really interesting sprinkler lawn system. Um, it likes to uh, to nibble. It's very interesting. I've never seen one do this before. It's some really weird technology. Doesn't she look so cute? So wet. See? When they're wet, their feathers kind of look like more like fur. They do have a little dry spot, but the middle tarp ripped. You have to fix that soon, huh? But she can go in that igloo if she wants to. That's where her eggs are. And they've got the sides, they've got the two sections back here. So Theoretically, they could be dry, but they're not going to. Here it goes. Scatter! What are you doing over here? school fight. The chickens are like, okay. They're the only ones that don't really get in this. I've been blended with the rest. Which one is it? They all they know who it is too. It's funny. They all so much the same. He's just like happy staying over here. You clean out of it. And that's why emus move their heads, I bet. Yeah. Hey, buddy. What are you doing up there? Oh, I see what might be about to happen here. She wants to go on the roof. Submitting to you. So. Cleaning my girl's water. Them nice and fresh. She's looking awfully cute these days. I think I'm because she's got a lot of white feathers on her neck. She's like it's like her winter plumage, and she is so cute. I think turkeys with feathers on their necks look much cuter than that. You know what I mean? A little less vultury. Isn't that right, girl? 
There's Drake, and this is Sadie's nest. I do believe she's abandoned, but occasionally lays an egg, so. I'm not sure she's getting white legs. I, I thought she had black legs last year, but it looks like, um, I think the kind of the colors kind of change. I'm sort of hoping uh, half and half gets more of her white colors back, like when she was a chick. Then I'll be able to tell her apart a little bit easier. Oh. <laughs> hey, dude. What are you doing? Funny thing is, so we've got these roosts that are also supports for this coop. It helps when we drag it, it keeps it kind of intact. So Sadie actually just sleeps on top of this igloo. Um, I mean, she's basically abandoned this nest, but she still like sleeps on this. And then I think he just sleeps in a corner on the ground. You know, you, you gotta, you can't, you can't win your battles with turkeys. They'll, they'll do what they do. And I think these guys are really enjoying their coop. These, what, two days they've been in it? Let me see if I can focus it. But I've been trying to figure out how to feed them exactly. So they, uh, there's three roosters in here. Uh, it seems like the uh, big gray one over here, Odin, has become the top <laughs> boss. I think they'll work themselves out. Let's we'll see if there's any fighting. I didn't notice this before, but this little zip tie, the zip tie, survived the move up here this entire time. Just, just dangling right here. It just survived the whole move. I can't believe that. <laughs> so what I do is I put the zip tie and that zip tie. Oh, sorry. Oh, my phone funny. I usually have two hands to do this, but I tighten it because there's usually a gap up here and that really, really helps. I can't hold open enough to be a raccoon and get in to the little bitty chickens. Uh, Penguin's been a lot nicer to me. He hasn't attacked me these uh, two days I've been going in there without the hose. So, what, four times it's been? Is that right? Yeah, I think that's amazing. Um, he has not attacked me. He's been really nice. Uh, since I saved him, his foot was stuck. Uh, he's been like a little grateful. A lot less seething with rage than normal. <laughs> Here's my favorite duck. Khaki's laying an egg, I think. She has a hurt foot. I've been watching it. I'm kind of keeping them on bed rest to see, like, I'm bed rest, as in I'm not letting them out of this coop thing to run around. I'm just going to keep them in here for a few days and see if that helps her leg. <laughs> Maybe she's, you know, running around a little too much. She needs to calm down. Um, a little worried about it. See? That. I'm wondering about that. I'm, it's getting worse. Every day it's a little worse, so. I didn't see anything visually wrong with it. I couldn't really figure it out. So I'm just hoping she lays down and calms down. I mean, that, that's good. I didn't feel anything hot when I checked it yesterday. I think I'll check it again today. After I'm done with everything else. Uh, if we get three eggs a day, then uh, we have three girls. Are you all right, baby? I'm so sorry. Your foot is giving you some problems. Uh-oh. Are you a boy? No, uh, we, we might have a problem. I ordered more ducks last night. I bought six ducks. So, my male duck back here is completely obviously not a male duck, and... I've been deluding myself for a while. <laughs> Does not look like a male duck should for their breed. I was really excited about having Saxony ducks and breeding them and selling them. I love them so much. They clearly missexed him at the hatchery, unfortunately. Because we had one with a band and one without a band, and then one was dead. And the one that was dead did not have a band, so I'm assuming we had one of each and they just missexed. With the predators and stuff, I decided we should probably have, you know, some more male ducks to hatch our own ducks out. I decided not to get a khaki Campbell male as much as I love her. Um, I just think that the only reason she's kind of friendly is because of the Saxonies. I got a male Welsh Harlequin because I think that um, we should be able to repopulate them and when they hatch their beaks are, are color differ differentiated so you've got a pink beak that's a female I believe and then the gray is male. And then I also got five um, blue Swedish ducks. Um, they're kind of neat looking. 
We'll see about that. I resisted the temptation to get a call duck because they're very, very cute.